one of the most powerful capabilities of jQuery is animation. One of my old web development professors in university once told me, you can code anything. In context, he simply meant that whatever you can think of in your head, there's a way to code it. Now jQuery Animate is certainly no exception. You can create simple or complex animations and everything in between. It's truly your experience and your imagination that uh, will limit you. And there are a bunch of tutorials and people showing their really cool uh, animations and games using just jQuery. And it's really, really cool. But the animate method can get quite hairy as there are many complex parameters, arguments, and functions that you can throw at it. But in its simplest form, you can do some really cool things with it and also some useful things. Now, I'm gonna do a little example here that um, maybe isn't so much uh, directly applicable or useful to a website. Um, and maybe it is, maybe you have a really cool um, idea uh, of how to use what we're about to build here. But it's just a simple demo to show you how you can use jQuery Animate. Now we do have something really cool coming up at the end of this section where we're gonna be building a race car game using jQuery Animate. But right now this is just to get you introduced to how jQuery Animate works. So I have a new HTML file here called uh, animate.html, just basic HTML. I have a div with the class of box and then a div with an uh, ID of nav arrows and then four buttons inside with different um, IDs uh, and then some HTML entities to give me left arrows, up arrows, right arrows and down arrows. And then I use some CSS. Now, before I move to the CSS, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and download this from the course files folder as usual, and just uh, plop it in your jQuery directory so you can start working with this HTML. Same with the CSS, you're gonna to wanna to copy this. Uh, however, if you've just straight up copied the uh, final styles.css from the jQuery uh, course files download, then you're good to go. Everything's kind of already, uh, set it and forget it, sort of good to go for you already, but uh, we have just some styles here. We're sty we styled the nav arrows, the classes, we styled the up, left, right, and down arrows. We styled the box as well. And I have a note here for uh, once we get into the animate and we'll come to it momentarily. Now, into our script.js. Under our jQuery animate flag here, what we're gonna do is just do some, some cool animation here. So now, let me show you what it is that we're working with. So here we just have a simple page, jQuery animate. We have a box here that has some opacity. It's about 50% opacity. Uh, actually, it's exactly 50% opacity. And we have a little navigation pad here, like up, right, down, and left arrows, kind of just like your keyboard uh, or you know a game controller or something like that. And it's, uh, it's a kind of a cool, I just did this in CSS, very simple. And we're gonna make these buttons do probably what you think is gonna happen. We wanna navigate that box around by clicking these arrows uh, around. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and start doing that. Now, the animate syntax looks a little bit like this. So I'm just going to say box and then animate. So we have open closing parentheses, but we don't end there. We actually open a curly brace, couple returns, close the curly brace, comma, and then we have a function, open closing parentheses, open curly brace, cl couple returns, closing curly brace. There's your basic syntax of the animate method. Now what I wanna do is put this inside of a click method so that we can do the animation on click. So let's build that first. We're gonna say when you click the left arrow, so click, function, and there's our click function syntax. I'm gonna copy this, or cut it, and I'm gonna paste it in between here. Tab it just a little bit so it looks good. There we go, so we have box, animate, and then right here is where we modify our properties, our CSS properties, in fact. And in here is what happens when the animation is complete if you choose to do any sort of um, uh, functions or jQuery, further jQuery once the animation is complete. Now, what you wanna do here is you're basically gonna select some CSS properties, but you're using, uh, you're using JavaScript. I believe it's JavaScript syntax uh, or language keywords to access that CSS. So uh, some of it's the same, like for example, left is the same, but things like border, left, 
used as camel case, or border left color, border left style, or things like margin, top, and so on and so forth. It's using uh, not the exact same syntax or keywords as uh, CSS. So I'll provide you a link to the official jQuery documentation so you can see what those keywords actually are. But we're just going to work with a couple right now. So I'm going to say when I click the left arrow, I want that box to go to the left. So I would say left and then colon. And then in strings, uh, double or single, whatever works for you, we're going to move it 40 pixels. But we need to move it 40 pixels to the left. If I were to just to say this, 40 pixels, it will move 40 pixels to the right because it's a positive value. So we need to move it a negative value to the left. So let's see if that works and see what happens. So if I click this arrow, it moves to the left. Now the reason why it moves to the left is because we have our position. Here's the note I was telling you about. For position properties to work in jQuery Animate, you need to make sure the element being animated has a position property defined. If I took away position relative and try this animation again, it wouldn't work because left, uh, you have access to that property because it has a position. Currently, there is no position that you've defined, so you need to be able to have it be a position, whether it's fixed, relative, absolute. So make sure that that is there. Now, one other thing you might notice is when you just click this left arrow, you can only do it once. And what's up with that? You need, you think you should be able to keep clicking that. Well, the way you do that is you simply just use kind of a funny little jQuery uh, syntax here. It's minus equals. And that basically just every time you click on that button, it will either, um, it, it will take it from its current position and then move it 40 pixels further the way that you want. Uh, and in our case, we're going negative value. So negative equals 40 pixels. So now that will give us the ability to keep moving this box to the left, 40 pixels. Now, what you can also do is uh, add more properties here. So by just separating with comma. So comma, a new line, and I'm going to say font size. Uh, again, in strings, I'm going to say um, plus equals two pixels. Now what this means is every time I click the left arrow, it's going to increase the font size by two pixels from the current font size. So watch this. Keeps increasing the font size, two pixels. You can see it's getting bigger and bigger. Now, I want to also make those other arrows work. So we've already done most of the work here. We just need to copy and paste this a few more times. So one, two, and then three. And we just need to change some values uh, and some properties. So we're going to say the up. Uh, when you click up, we're going to, to animate the box upwards. So we're just going to say top. Uh, negative equals 40 pixels. So we're going to go up. 40 pixels each time we click it. And instead of font size, I'm going to play around with opacity. So let's say every time we go up, we want the opacity to uh, increase by 0 0.01. Okay, now what if we just tried that out? So I'm going to click up. Opacity, you see, is getting, uh, well, it's, it's increasing. So we have more opacity there, or less opacity, however you'd want to say that. It's becoming more solid, less see-through. Now we want to play around with the right click arrow as well. So what we're going to do is keep the left property. Instead of saying minus equals 40, we're going to say plus equals 40. So it's going to increase the value 40 pixels from what it is currently set at. And we want to do the opposite with font size. We want to minus or equal to pixels. So we can do the opposite of what the left arrow does. So it's in decreasing the font size and moving it to the right. Now, if I press this way, it's increasing the font size and moving it to the left. Kind of cool. Now, the up does this, it does what we told it to do. Now, we just need the down button to work. We just select down, and you probably already know what to do at this point. I'm just selecting the top property, and plus equals 40, and then the opacity, we're going to say plus uh, equals, or actually minus equals, 0.1, we want to remove the value a bit so it gets more opaque or less opaque. I don't really know the proper terminology. More see-through, less see-through. So here we go, we have our little simple animation. You can move this box around wherever you want it. And you can see, depending on where you move the box, we have the font size or the opacity changing in value. 
So pretty cool. That's how you do some jQuery animate. Now, like I said, we have a lot more animation coming up. We're gonna be doing a race car game and that's pretty cool. So hang tight and we got some more jQuery coming up. <laughs>